Guys, good afternoon to each and every one of you. It's so good to be back at the Kyushala Family Quiz. It's been a small two-week break that I wasn't around for. Of course, I was watching the quiz on YouTube like everybody else does. But this is really, really great to be back here for the Kyushala Family Quiz. I'm thrilled to be co-hosting this quiz with my, co my colleague and co-quiz master, Shija. Hi, Shija. How are you doing? Hi, Sachin. I'm great. Also, I would like to add the last two weeks, we got so many messages asking where Sachin sir was and you're finally here. So I'm happy that a lot of kids will also be very happy. Yeah, no, I was, it was just a small uh, trip. I'd gone with friends, etc. So, you know, because um, so, you know, we just found some time on a weekend and hence as I wasn't available to conduct the quiz. But of course, I was watching the quiz religiously on YouTube as I, as all of you do as well. So that said, guys, welcome to the 82nd edition of the Kyushala Family Quiz. Uh, I'm Sachin and that is Shija and we are your co-hosts for the day. We've been doing this for a really long time now, for over a year. And we've had over, I mean, I think around 30,000 odd families that have been participating in the Kyushala Family Quiz. But before that, a little bit about Kyushala for you, if you haven't heard of us, if this is the first time that you're hearing about us, we are an organization that thrives on quizzing. So quizzing is extremely integral to our identity. We, are, we create questions, we ask questions, we tell stories through these questions, and we've interacted with over a lakh plus children across the country, across the world. Uh, we've worked with over 100 plus schools and 1000 plus events that we've been doing through the course of our time since we've been doing this. So like my co quiz master Shija, uh, Vaishnavi, Raga, Vaishwarya, me, all of us love quizzing. And I think it's also the reason why you're here as well. So you love quizzing. And uh, we, our job is to make sure that your Sunday that you're willing to give to us is something that's the best Sunday that we're able to have at a given point in time. All right. That said, a little bit about who the community is, as I mentioned to you, 30,000 plus members, it's now uh, gone to that number from 100 plus cities over 4,000 questions, individual questions that we have crafted. So our team every week, I know for a fact of the amount of effort they put in because they're extremely excited to go ahead and research about the questions that they want to ask you, discuss and figure these things out. So we hopefully think uh, these are questions that, that, you know, that excite you, that make you curious, that of course challenge you as well. And with that said, I have a quick request, especially if you're joining in for the first time, I see a lot of familiar faces here on my screen, which is nice. I can see Ishan. Uh, I can see Adrit, I can see a lot of you guys. I would love for each of you, especially if you're coming in for the first time, so please let us know on Zoom chat. Let me know, Quizmaster Sachin, uh, that this is your first Kushala family quiz that you're attending. If this happens to be not your first, but many of numbers, you don't know which number you've counted, maybe, or whatever it is, let me know how many quizzes you've been able to attend. Uh, I'd love to learn and love to know about uh, you know how many such quizzes you've attended, right? Um, so lovely. Okay. This is great. So we have our guest quiz master as well. I will be talking to you about ma'am in just a couple of seconds, but interestingly, ma'am also has given us a yay. So this is also ma'am's first Kushala family quiz. And I hope she has a lovely time with us here this Sunday with us as well. And now before we, of course, introduce uh, you to ma'am and the quiz and the round she's exclusively going to be conducting for us. I want to talk to you a little bit about the usual instructions that I have. So you're going to be on mute through the course of the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and have you have your name called out and I would love for you to then go ahead, uh, get yourself unmuted. You'll be getting a button, click on the unmute button and then go ahead and share the answer with us. And all the questions today are going to be asked on Kahoot. There will be separate sections where you might have to send answers to me on Zoom chat. I will clarify what needs to be sent on Zoom and what needs to be done on Kahoot. But this quiz, the chunk of the quiz is going to be happening on Kahoot. So please keep your second device, keep your mobile phone ready for you to be able to participate with Kahoot. And say you do get logged out, unfortunately, you can always join back in with the same name though. So that we were able to tally the scores that you'll be getting or you'd have gotten in the first set of questions that you might have taken a stab at. All right, that said, what's at stake today? And this is a lovely book called Fantastic Creatures in Mythology written by our guest quiz master, Bulbul Sharma Ma'am. And she's going to be going ahead and asking you questions from the book that she's written. But for this collaboration, I must make it a point to thank not just the author, but also Puffin and Penguin Books for actually bringing us in contact with Bulbul Ma'am and for giving us an opportunity to give you guys these books for prizes. These are some lovely books, an incredible book. I personally think the amount of information that we're learning about, about our own history, about our own culture in the form of these books is extremely important for children and for adults across the world. 
So what's at stake here? Firstly, is if you do end up winning this quiz, if you feature on the top 10 of today's quiz, you get a copy of this book. But apart from that as well, say you answer the six questions in round number one that ma'am is going to be asking you, you also end up winning a copy of the book as well. So what I mean by that is, if you are one of the people that get unmuted and you do share the right answer, you will go ahead and win a copy of this book as well. So that's what's at stake for today's Q Shala family quiz. And apart from this as well, we have a lucky draw competition that we conduct. And what happens in the lucky draw competition? In the lucky draw competition, if you participate through the course of the quiz, now we're not so bothered about you only getting the right answer. That's of course something that you should do. Try to answer as much as you can. But if you go ahead and stick around through the course of the quiz, you will be winning this hamper from Postcard, a lovely uh, D2C brand that makes very nice, delicious Indian snacks. And these are special hampers that you will be winning today if you do end up featuring on the lucky draw that you have uh, in the Kushala family quiz. That said, what's, uh, what's special for the quiz that we have on the 31st? I have a video I want to play for you. So go ahead, quickly have a look at this video, and then we'll get started, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is appearing on your screen. Okay, there seems to be some issue with the um, the video. Um, I think what we'll do is, um, Shija, do you think we can play it on YouTube instead? Is that something that we can do? Yes, I will also be sharing the link. Okay. On chat. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Okay, so guys, who we have for the guest quiz master actually is none other than, than the Ruskin Bond. He is going to be our guest quiz master on the 31st of October, the edition that we have of the quiz then. And if you do, of course, show up for that quiz, you'll be, of course, winning yourself or getting the chance to win an autographed copy of the book. Now, we have a special offer as well. So that is actually a ticketed event that we have. And if you do happen to be a premium Kushala member, you get access to that quiz for free. We have a special offer, and I'll talk to you about that in just a bit. But that's the video that you can go ahead and watch in your own time. That's the link my colleague has also shared. Actually, let me go ahead and play the video for you guys in just a bit. Yeah, uh, just give me one second. Just a second, guys. guys as you saw we have Ruskin Bond showing up for the Kushala family quiz so the cost of participating in that event is 500 rupees but if you do happen to be amongst the first 500 people who register for it you'll be getting it at 299 rupees let me clarify this is of course for people who aren't members of Kushala if you're a premium member of Kushala if you've purchased a one-year subscription of the Kushala family quiz if you've purchased a six-year six-month membership of the Kushala family quiz this event is completely free for you. And of course, uh, what you also do, of course, stand the chance of doing is participating and talking to Mr. Ruskin Bond as well. Uh, next week, why do you have to turn up? Because we will tell you what is the way for you to be able to ask questions to Ruskin Bond. Uh, and that's something that we have lined up for next week. And on the 31st is when we have the event in itself. All right. Now coming down to business, ladies and gentlemen, we have an appetizer round, as I'd like to call it, which is the guess the number round. And what we do in this round is we're going to ask you a question. You'll have to identify a certain number. This is just our way of starting the quiz, just so that you're a little, I know your gray cells are warmed up, as we usually say. So this was the question that we asked you last week. 
how many slices does an orange have? And the correct answer that we were looking for was anywhere between 8 to 12. And a bunch of you, in fact, did get this right. So well done to Advit, Pranava, Adrit, Driti, uh, Anil, Hebel, Anil, Siona, Shlok, Prabhav, Azal, and Kostu. Well done to all of you guys for getting that answer right. That said, for this week, I have a question ready for you. You're going to be given 30 seconds. And for this, you need to send the answers to me on chat, on Zoom, to Quizmaster Sachin. This is not on Kahoot just yet. So please send me your answers on uh, on, uh, on 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 Zoom, please. And the top uh, feature of people getting the right answer will feature on the leaderboard, just like our friends did feature in the previous slide. So this is the question, ladies and gentlemen. And this is, of course, from mythology, because this is a quiz of course, where we talk a lot about mythology through the first round, especially. So you have around 20 odd seconds left, if I'm not wrong. How many trunks did the elephant Airavat have? So that's the question for you. Look at the image, if that helps you. Uh, and tell me an answer on Zoom chat, please. Ex tell me the exact number of trunks that elephant Airavat has. You have under five seconds, everybody, all family members. So let me know what is the number of trunks. And that is time. We've gotten our good 30 seconds that we've gotten there so far. So lots of answers coming in from people. I really like it. So keep up the energy, guys. Love the answers coming from all of you. So you will find out the answer to this, not today, in the next Sunday's Kushala Family Quiz. And we will get started, of course, with the quiz that we have. Guys, let me clarify. Please send in your answers on chat to Quizmaster Sachin. You can send it to my other colleagues as well, but you have to send it to me if you want to be able to win prizes. Now, that said, if you'd like to go ahead and become a better quizzer, if you'd like to learn something new every week, we would love for you to go and log on and, uh, and, um, and check out our, uh, just one sec. Yeah, check out our YouTube page. Kushala's YouTube page is what we'd love for you to check out. Uh, we will paste a link for you as well on Zoom chat, just on, on Zoom chat just now. We fill it with great content every week. My team is working very, very hard to make sure that there's lovely YouTube content out. And it's all for you guys to learn something new every single day, every single, every single week. So go ahead and check out the content that we have on YouTube. And with that, what do I have next? Some instructions for you guys. Now that we're going to start off with the quiz, guys, keep your second device with you. In the second device, what I need you to do is um, uh, get your um, first device, of course, to look at the question and the second device for you to participate in code. You'll have a variety of questions that might be shown to you. Some might be where you'll have to type out an answer. Some would be where you need to pick the right answer, which is like a direct question, but like a multiple choice. And some others would be a true or false question. Of course, I'll explain to you all of this in some time. You can go ahead and check out uh, our YouTube channel as we've sent the link for you in just some time. All right. That said, how is the quiz structured? We have three rounds in today's quiz. Round number one is known as Fantastic Creatures. Round number two is known as Connect the Dots. And round number three is known as Rapid Fire. So these are the three rounds that we have. And with that, we will jump on to Kahoot, ladies and gentlemen. But before that, I need to introduce our guest quiz master for the day. And that is none, none other than Bulbul Sharma, ma'am. Bulbul Sharma, ma'am, here, a quick introduction for you, is an author and painter. She has written five collections of short stories, five novels, nonfiction, and some of the most loved books for children, including Tales of Fabled Beasts, Gods and Demons, and the Ramayana for children. Her books have been translated into French, Italian, Spanish, Finnish, and Chinese. And that is who we have today at the Kyushala Family Quiz. Ma'am, do we have you on call? And uh, can we hear you, ma'am? We're just going to go ahead and unmute you. Yes. Hello. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? Good. How are you guys? Ma'am, we're very excited. That's what I'm going to say. Very excited to have you at the Kyushala Family Quiz. Thank you so much for making. Thank you so much for making time for joining us today. I'm I'm so excited too. I've never participated in a quiz before. <laughs> well, that's ma'am. That's great. And I must also say, uh, if I'm not wrong, you're logging in from London. If I'm not wrong, is yes, it? Yes, that's right. That's right. What yeah. time of the day is it there at this point in time? It's 10.30 and it's quite dark outside as usual. It's raining. So you're oh, very yeah. lucky to be in Bangalore with beautiful weather. Yeah, it's actually raining a fair bit here in Bangalore as well, ma'am. But of course, we're not complaining. We're quite happy here yes. uh, as much as we do say there's a lot of rain here. Thank you so much for joining in, ma'am. And let me get started with proceedings here. So how this works is this entire quiz is going to be conducted on a platform called Kahoot. And what we will need for our participants to do is to actually get their mobile phone devices, as I mentioned. I'm going to be sharing a game pin for you, ladies and gentlemen. And after that, ma'am is going to be asking you questions as they appear on your screen. Just give me one second while I get Kahoot set up for you. 
you will see this on your screen as well ladies and gentlemen so this is the cohort code that you have to enter the game pin is 5526541 that's the game pin everybody 5526541 right that's the game pin so please use the same name that you're using on the zoom call please so that if you're logging on zoom with say the name sachin please do log on to kahoot with the same name sachin as well that way we're able to tab uh, your tabulate your scores right so we have we will wait for a couple of minutes before of course all our members join in so ma'am can i ask you a little bit about the book can you i'm curious as a reader how did you choose to write this i of course you've had a a, a a history of writing such books but why this specific book specifically i'd love to learn about what the story behind the book was but you know i've always been interested in mythology because india has one of the richest uh, mythological traditions and which is still very alive now you know in our lives every day we somehow or the other get connected to stories from mythology and most children in india know much more than children abroad i've noticed know about their own mythology so i got interested because i a it was uh, i've done a lot of books about nature you know introducing children to uh, just simple uh, facts from nature just getting them interested mm -hmm. so i thought it was it would be a good idea to combine these fantastic creatures that we see in our mythology mm -hmm. and um, so the you know mythology and nature both a combination of both but i think children love and they also know quite quite a lot in fact most children know much more than i do about both nature and animals yeah um that's that's i mean i uh, i agree with you on the let's experience that shrija and me have in the kushala family quiz as well lots of times we end up learning a lot of things from these kids who participate with us week in week out and uh, with that let me just check do we have uh, we have 38 people on on the kushala family quiz so guys i'm going to go ahead and start off so if you do of course want to quickly join in you have the next 10 seconds and of course if you do want to join in sometime as well you can go ahead and always log on to the kushala family quiz and kohoot you just have to enter the game pin which you will see on the bottom right of your screen so i think we will get started with proceedings everybody so the quiz is going to start off in uh, on your screen and a uh, mam is going to be asking you questions especially from round number 1 which is a fantastic beast round that we have so i think we'll get started everybody and here is the q shara family quiz appearing on your screens and i i hope you have your devices with you for you to participate so in 3 2 and 1 we start off ladies and gentlemen so the first round that we have as i mentioned to you you have five questions in the round fantastic features they're all one word answers you have to enter on the hood and the top five of course feature on the leaderboard so mam can we get started Yes, lovely. Absolutely. Okay, so everybody, first question, O to Ma'am, appearing on the screen right now. Okay, children, here we go. The king of eagles, Jatayu, lost his wings while saving Sita from the demon king of Lanka. When Ram and Lakshman came looking for Sita, which direction did Jatayu ask them to go towards? That's a good question, isn't it? Get Absolutely. all your thinking caps on. And uh, to just aid everybody as well, as you'll notice, participants, there's there's in brackets five L written, which means that it's a five letter answer. It's a five letter. Yes, I forgot to add that. And there's a beautiful image also over here. And uh, Jatayu, of course, you know, was a noble bird. and one of my favorite creatures and they're all my favorite creatures but jatayu was one of my favorite creatures from got it got it so for this question i think what we'll do is we'll ask someone again in no particular order uh can we go ahead and ask um just one sec i'm um just a bit can we ask alayana singh i hope i'm saying the name right if i'm not i'm so sorry alayana singh a l a y a n a Alaina yeah, Singh, that's good, lovely name. I agree, ma'am. Um, Alaina, can you hear us? I'm muting Alaina. Yes, sir. Why don't you go ahead and share the answer with ma'am, please? I think it is south. Yes, that's absolutely correct. That's very, very clever of you because I think it was quite a, quite a, um, what should I say, interesting uh, clue. So I'm so glad you got that answer and got it so quickly. Congratulations! 
Well done to you, Lina. Uh, I think we're not able to hear you too clearly. So you can tell us on chat which school you're joining in from, which grade you're in. Uh, and, you know, we'd love to learn a little bit more about you. But let's go on to the answer slide in just, uh, we have 41 answers, which is great. So in under 10 seconds, we'll find out the answer. So ma'am, is there something, is there a story you can share with us or an illustration from the book, if you have a book around you as well, about this specific question? We'd love to learn about how this, uh, what's the story or if there's an anecdote you'd like to share for this question. Well, as you know, Jatayu played a very important part in uh, Ramayan because though he doesn't feature uh, for, you know, for many chapters like Hanuman does, who's also one of the fantastic creatures, but he played a very crucial role because if it hadn't been for him, he was the only one who was, what, as they say, eyewitness mm. to Sita being kidnapped by uh, Ravan. Mm. So he helped Ram and Lakshman, he, like your quiz said, he pointed them into the right direction. So they didn't waste time going, you know, east, Not the north, uh, everywhere. So but he, he's a noble bird and he was a great friend of uh, uh, King Dashrath also and had promised him in some other story that he would look after his, uh, his sons. Yeah. So it all worked out, but he unfortunately, you know, dies saving, trying to fight Ravan. So and it's a great sacrifice. Great. And if there's another way also to think about this, I think the way I... And I was discussing this with my team is because, you know, Lanka is further down south. So from India going down south, there's another way to think about it as well. Is that, a, is that another way to like Lanka is further down south of the country? Right. So he pointed them to the right direction, you know. Uh, to, and uh, so children, all of you, I'm sure you know, you're good at it, your directions. I'm hopeless. But, uh, you know, Jatai, you knew his directions well. Um, I'm yeah, I'm not great with directions either. I think Google Maps is 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 a refuge, but still sometimes I struggle with that as well. I'm so happy that you know Google Map, Maps came. I was I think I was personally grateful <laughs> to Google because I was getting lost all the time. But I still get lost. That doesn't mean I've got lost. You know, I live in the mountains when I'm in India and I get lost on the mountains all the time. Oh wow. I mean, we should talk about that story some other time. So I think we'll jump on to the next question for now. So with that, let's look at the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen. So we have Prabhav in the lead, followed by Advit, followed by Varun, Swastika and Skanda. These are our top five at this point in time. Well done to all of you guys. Let's jump on to question number two, appearing on your screen now. Well done. Well done. Okay, now we have the second question. So um, when Hanuman felt helpless at the thought of crossing the giant ocean to find Ma Sita, Jambavan helped him to realize his strength, wisdom, and courage. Now, where did, which group of animals did Jambavan belong to? Very short answer, four letters. Answers are trickling in very quickly. Yes, yes, already... yes. I think everybody knows the answer because um, he's also, I was very worried, you know, while I was telling you this, I would mm -hmm. give the answer away immediately. <laughs> but I told myself, as soon as I woke up in the morning, I said, don't say the word. <laughs> don't <laughs> be careful. This is I mean, my what... first quiz, Sachin. So I'm learning on the job. Um, I, it's fantastic so far, man. Whether it's the first or the hundredth quiz, this is the same thing that I. It's running in the back of my head. Don't reveal the answer because you're <laughs> in a state of flow, and then you suddenly realize you've said the answer out loud, and um, it happens, ma'am. So I think for this question, though, let's go ahead and ask Rudra Neil. Uh, R U D R A N I L Lahiri Rudra Rudra Neil Lahiri. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Unmuting. Uh, Rudra... Unmuting yes. Rudra Neil. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hey, Hello. hi. Can you hear us, Rudra? I'm from Kolkata. All right. Uh, Hello. I'm yes, from Rudra. Kolkata. Hi. The answer is apes. Ah, okay. Rudra Neil here thinks that the answer is apes. A P E S. Apes is what he thinks is the answer. So, Rudra Neil, I'll tell you what. That's an interesting answer. Yes. But not the answer to this question, though. Uh, but that said, great attempt for sharing this answer with us. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and ask someone else for this one. Uh, can we go ahead and ask Adya, A-A-D-Y-A, Adya Arna, uh, if we can go ahead and ask Adya 
get her unmuted and have her share the answer. Adya, can you go ahead and tell us the answer? Tell Quiz Master Bulbul Ma'am the answer, please. Yes, Bihar. Sorry? Yeah. Bear, yes. Bear. Yeah, the right answer is bear. Excellent. Well done, Adya. That Thank you, ma'am. Very smart. So we have a lot of people. I think a lot of people have gotten bear as the answer. Is there a story that you'd like to share? Anything that you'd like to narrate from this specific anecdote and this creature? Ma'am? Well, this uh, Jamavan, of course, is not just a bear, but he's a very, very wise bear. He's one of the oldest bears in the world of mythology. He's seen the past. He also knows he's so clever. He can look into the future and he knows exactly what's going to happen. And the most important thing is he tells Hanuman, who's a great noble creature, that who he is. Because Hanuman had, due to a curse, he'd forgotten about his superpowers and he thought he was just an ordinary monkey. But then Jambavan sees him and tells him, you are the only one who can do this. You are the one who can leap across this vast ocean and help Ram to rescue Sita. So he, he really believes. So that's wonderful, isn't it, children? In your life, you, we all need somebody who knows what our true potential is and helps you. And most of the time, it's your parents and your teachers who really help you to discover yourself. So Jambavan was like that. So he, he's, he's a wonderful creature in one of my stories. Lovely, ma'am. Lovely. Uh, with that, uh, on to look, looking at the leaderboard, we've got Atvik who's in the lead now, followed by Swastika, Varun, Vidyanshi, and Skanda. Well done also to Adya, who didn't, in fact, give the right answer, who's jumped up nine places for giving the right answer. And let me also state, for those who have given us the answer unmuted, so Alayana and Adya, please share your address with us so that we can go ahead and send a copy of the book that ma'am has written, and you'll be getting access to that book as well. So please do go ahead and send in your address, Adya, um, and um, and and you know and Alina as well, right? With that, let's go. Adya, where are you? In which city are you? Let's just quickly unmute oh. Adya. So that I'm, from I'm from Patna, Bihar. Oh, excellent! Well done. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy thank reading you. the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. All right. Okay. Let's jump on to the next question, ma'am, appearing on your screen now. Okay, now we come to two horrible, horrible creatures. Vatapi and Ilvala are two demon brothers who could trick all travelers who went past their cave. And, but, you know, like all evil creatures, one day they get to meet their, somebody who's more strong. So which influential sage who crossed the Vindhya mountains taught them a lesson by digesting Vatapi? Who was this great, noble, wise man? A great sage. A great sage. And yeah, just like how the previous question was about how we need someone to remind us of our strengths like Jam uh, Jambavan. Let's see how many people get the answer to this question about a very, very popular sage. I think answers are trickling in. We've got 16 answers, 17 answers on, on the platform. Uh, let's have a look and see who we can ask for this question. Uh, in no particular order, uh, let me see who we can ask. Um, this sage also was quite known for his, um, you know, all the sages in, in mythology have very bad tempers for some reason. And this sage was also slightly bad temper, not as bad as some of the other sages, but he had a, he had a temper and people were quite afraid of him, but they obeyed him. They really obeyed him because he was so, so smart. Got it, ma'am. So for this question, I'm going to go ahead and request, to, um, and I'm not sure if the name is spelled correctly. So uh, T-U-S-T-I, uh, Tusti Sharma, I think it probably was supposed to be Tulsi, but T-U-S-T-I, um, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly, T-U-S-T-I Sharma. Uh, if you can go ahead and get yourself unmuted, please. Uh, T-U-S-T-I. And of course, can you hear us? Hello? Uh, Sachin looks like they're unable to unmute Tushti. Ah, okay, no problem. Um, so how about for this question, can we go ahead and ask uh, Ameya, A-M-E-Y-A, Ameya P, A-M-E-Y. Yes. yes, can you hear us, Ameya? Yes. Okay, what do you think the answer is, Ameya? I think it's this Agastya. Yes, well done, well done. That's a clever girl. 
Well done, Agastya. Different ways of spelling his name, but he was a wise, wise sage. He knew everything. He knew what was going to happen. He knew what had happened. He'd do much more than other people. He was a super, super man with brains. Amir, can we ask you, where are you joining in from, please? I'm from Bangalore. Oh, great. You're in the same city as the, your quiz master. <laughs> Amir, which grade are you in? Which school do you study in? I'm in DPS, Delhi Public School, and I'm in third standard. Ah, wonderful. Third standard. And that's a great answer, Maya Agastya. Is your parent, is your mother or father with us in the quiz? My father is. Wonderful. Why don't you give a nice high five to Papa for getting the right answer? (laughs) (laughs) Well done, both of you, Papa and and Anaya. Um, Ma'am, is there a story you'd like to share about Agastya? Well, Augustia, one of the favorite stories about the Vindhya uh, he, mountains, you know, when he was going past, he just asked them, Does it, you know, in mythology, there's a story behind story behind story. So mm-hmm. uh, it's just that the, he thought they were getting very proud. Somebody mm-hmm. complained that he, Vindhyas were going higher and higher and trying to block the sunlight out. So he told them when they bowed to him, he was going further south. He said, just stay like this and I'll be back. And he never came back that way. So the <laughs> India mountains just remain much lower That's than nice. the Himalayas. So, you know, even the mountains were competitive children like you are probably nowadays in school. There's so much competition, isn't it? I wonder sometimes you feel that you don't need. But just remember one thing, you're all good at something. So it doesn't matter if you don't win at one thing. I'm sure you'll win at something else. Wonderful one. That's such a lovely message. And with that, I think just looking at the leaderboard as well, well done to Skanda, Varun, Advit, Clever Girls, which is comprised of Driti and Sanvi and yeah. Sahana. Uh, so Clever Girls is a joint team that we have, ma'am. So that Driti and oh. Sanvi who are, are participating together along with Sahana and eight players who reached an answer streak of three. Well done to all of you guys. Well done. Let's jump on to the next question that we have, which is the fourth question. Ma'am, over to you, please. Go ahead. Um. Viswa Vasu got a boon to live forever. Lord Indra punished him for his arrogance by turning him into Kabanda. Kabanda was really scary looking. He had only just one big mouth. He attacked Ram and Lakshman while they were searching for Sita. They slayed Kabanda and freed Viswasu from the body of the demon. Viswasu helped Ram and Lakshman to rescue Sita by telling them to follow the king of monkeys. Now, who was this? Who was this king that this demon who turned into a good guy asked them? Who was this great king? Very famous in Ramayana. Let's see who we can ask for this question. Uh, Lots of answers as per usual. Um, Just one sec. Let's have a look at the, the, the chat screen. Okay, can we ask for this question? Can we go ahead and ask Prabhav? Prabhav Rao, P-R-A-B-H-A-V. Prabhav Rao, if you can go ahead and get yourself muted. Um, yes, sir. Sugriv. I go, didn't go, go, answer is Sugriv. Yes, that's right. It's Sugriv, the king of monkeys, who again has a lot of stories about him, his fight with his brother Bali. So that's a good answer. Well done. Congratulations. So Prabhav, why don't you introduce yourself to ma'am and to everybody joining us at the quiz as well? I, I, I'm studying in second standard, uh, Kum, Kumarans, and I, and I stay in Bangalore. Oh, a lot of very smart kids in Bangalore, I can see. Yes. Well <laughs> done. Well done. Well done to you, Prabhav. And of course, with that, let's quickly have a look at the uh, the answer board uh, and see, of course, Sugriv, anybody who's gone ahead and used any one of these spellings, uh, we'll go ahead and, of course, uh, share this with you as well. And let's look at the leaderboard. And uh, so Skanda, very much in the lead, followed by Varun, Sahana, Clever Girls, and Niranjana, who's also one of our alumni, a very famous uh, or, you know, rep- uh, repeat participants from the Kushala family quiz, that is Niranjana. While we wait, of course, for the next question, ma'am, is there something that you'd like to tell us about Sugriv, an interesting story or an anecdote that you have for this question? 
Well, more than Sugriva, I'd really like to talk about my fantastic preacher who's Kabanda, who's actually quite sad because he used to be a very handsome preacher once upon a time, but he did something very naughty and then he was turned into this really frightening creature with one huge stomach and one mouth and one eye and long arms. So sometimes when I'm drawing and I just want to have fun with children when I when things are normal and I actually come to the school and do things, then some children who can't draw very well, I get them to draw Kabanda because you can't go wrong with Kabanda because it's one circle with one eye and one big gaping mouth. So <laughs> children, if you just feel like drawing something for fun, then do this, do, draw Kabanda. You'll never go wrong with him. Kabanda is the creature, the fantastic creature for us to draw. I don't know, I think I'm going to put my hand up and try that. My artistry or my drawing <laughs> skills are fairly substandard. So I'm going to go ahead and take a stab so at that. Kabanda is the person for you then. Perfect, Tom. That is perfect. And with that, let's jump on to the last question that we have, if I'm not wrong. Oh, no, there is one more question. Sorry, I think I've got that wrong. I'm over to you. Sorry, please go ahead. So Kalia, the giant snake, he poisoned the river Kalindi. Today, the river has one of the seven wonders of the world on its banks. Now, which river is this? It's a great sacred river of India. All right. And it's beautiful. It's sometimes a little polluted. So we have to take care of this mighty river. All right. So let's go ahead and see who it is that we can ask for this question. Um, can I, can we ask Sia, S-I-Y-A, Sia Agrawal? S-I-Y-A, uh, please again, send your answers in Kahoot, guys. You'd have to use the Kahoot, the Kahoot platform. Sia Agrawal, if you can go ahead and get yourself unmuted, please. That's a lovely name. It's one of Sita's names. Hi, Yamuna. Yes, that's right. Well done, Sia. It's Yamuna. It's one of the most important rivers in uh, North India and with along with Ganga and Yamuna and we have to keep her very clean because uh, she's getting very polluted especially around Delhi so people are trying very oh, hard uh, to it is in Agra. it's it flows past Agra yes you're right it flows past Delhi also and it's 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 Yamuna has a lot of stories Ganga is actually more popular than Yamuna in mythology because, uh, you know, but Yamuna also has quite a lot of stories and Kalindi is one of her names. Very fascinating. Well done. Congratulations, Sia. Well done to you, Sia. That's a great answer. And of course, we were looking for Yamuna as the answer. So a lot of you, in fact, have got this right. So well done to all of you guys. Yamuna was the answer. And with that, uh, and let me also request, Sia, don't forget, please do send in your address. Uh, Prabhav, send in your address as well. Sia, please send in your address so that we can go ahead and send you a copy of the book that ma'am has written. So Skanda, very much in the lead, followed by Varun, Sahana, Niranjana, and Clever Girls. These are our top five at this point in time. And with that, let's jump on to the last question ma'am is going to be asking today in the mythical creatures round that we have. Ma'am, over to you for the last question, please. Okay, here's... Aravat was the most majestic elephant in the universe. He was Lord Indra's Vahan. Vahan is, you know, every god has his Vahan. So uh, Aravat was Indra's Vahan. Did you know Aravat was born from an egg? Let us hear a story about him. The question is, Aravat wore a garland. The nectar from the flowers attracted which insects that led to a very unfortunate incident? This is a complicated story. Yeah. We're looking for a three-letter answer, if I'm not wrong. Three-letter answer. Short answer. Yeah. So an insect, basically, we want you to identify. And, Mom, I'd love to hear the, a lot of stories. If there's a story that you can narrate to us while, of course. The elephant. Yeah. <laughs> we have 30 answers that have come in already. So for this question, let's see who we can ask for this one. Uh, just a second. Can we ask Parth Gupta? P A A R T H Parth Gupta. Uh, if you can go ahead and get yourself unmuted and share the answer with ma'am, please. Um, 
Hey, Parth, can you hear us? Yes, hello. Hey, Parth, hi. Hi. It's not bad, it's Ditya. It's Ditya, is it? Yes. Okay, Ditya, sorry. Uh, I think Parth is your brother or father's name, perhaps, I think. Mm. Brothers. Ah, got it. Okay, so Ditya, why don't you share what you think the answer is with Burgul Ma'am, please? And? Mm, alas, no, it's not an ant. That can be quite annoying, but it's not an ant. That Another is a good attempt. answer, though. Yeah. Good, answer. good attempt. Uh, so, uh, ant is again, it's a three letter insect. We're looking yes. for another answer. Uh, so, for this question, uh, let's see who we can ask. Again, in no particular order. It makes uh, a lot of noise, this insect. Mm, makes a lot of noise. Ants are uh, silent. This insect makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Uh, can we ask Arab, Arab Gusen, A-A-R-A-B. Okay, the answer has already come out, but that's okay. Uh, can we ask Arab anyway to share what he thought was the answer? A-A-R-A-B, Arab? Unmuting Arab. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hey, Arab, what do you think the answer is? The B. Right, well done. It's the B. B gives us honey. B is a lovely insect, but sometimes it can be quite dangerous. In fact, I was stung by a bee just last week and it's mm -hmm. very painful. So I can imagine how Aravat, the majestic elephant, he must have felt so annoyed because all these bees were all around him, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. And he threw the garland on the floor. Well I done. I hope you're doing okay, ma'am. Yes, I'm fine now. Got it. All right. Okay. Well done to you. Uh, well done to you, Arab. That was the that was the right answer. Bees is what we were looking for. And with that, let's have a quick look at the leaderboard and see how our participants are faring so far. So Skanda is still very much in the lead, consolidating his position. We've got Varun behind him, followed by Clever Girls, followed by Sahana and Niranjana. And with that, we come to the end of this round, the round number one on the mythological creatures, of course, featured in the book, Mythological Creatures. Ma'am, uh, thank you so much for joining in for the Kyushala Family Quiz. We had a lovely time having you over and I personally enjoyed listening to all the stories and the way you said the stories especially. Thank you so much for making time, ma'am. Thank you so much for inviting me and I wish you all the best with the quiz and children, you've been very smart. And I wish you all the best in life. Stay safe and take care. Um, we do have one small tradition that we have at the Kushala Family Quiz. We take a photo, uh, I, I know, with the guest quiz master and we try a different pose or a different sort of thing. So for this, we thought it's rather opportune that we have everybody in the quiz strike a monster pose if they could. So I'm going to go ahead. And is that okay, ma'am? Can we take a photo? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and I'd like um, I'd like to switch on gallery view. My colleagues, I'm assuming, are going to be taking a photo. So, ma'am, I'm here. Are you there? Okay, awesome. We're all there. Yeah. In three, two, one, you can say Paneer. Yeah. <laughs> you can say Kabanda. Ah, we can say Kabanda for the next one as well. Three, two, one, Kabanda. Awesome. Do we have photos, Shrija? Yes, we have the photos. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Ma'am, it was lovely having you over. Thank you so much. And if you do, of course, feel like you have some time, please do stay around for the rest of the quiz. I understand it's quite late in the night for you, but it'll be lovely to have you for a little bit of the quiz if you can stay around. I will. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you so much, Sachin and the team and Vaishnavi and Srija, everybody. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. So Bye-bye. All right, guys. Let's jump back to the quiz. Ma'am, of course had the first round that she conducted for us, uh, which is, of course, on mythological creatures. With that, I hand over the mic from here in one part of Bangalore to another part of Bangalore to my co-quiz master, Shija. Shija, over to you to go ahead and explain the second round that we have for us. Sure. Thank you, Sachin. So here we will have the connect round now. And we have our special guest quiz master, Adbit, with us here. So let me quickly unmute Adbit. Unmuting Adbit. Yes. Hi, Adbit. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Are you ready to ask your question, Adbit? Yes. Okay, so here's your question. Go ahead, Adbit. So this picture shows a windmill. 
This picture shows, shows mountain. And this is the sun, a gada, and monkey. Now you have to connect and guess which god is this. All right, so uh, let us unmute at random. Ishan? Um, yeah, hello, ma'am. Yes, Ishan. Mama thinks so. The answer is uh, Hanuman. Okay, Advit? It is correct. The answer is Hanuman. Uh, since uh, it, Hanuman is the sense of Vayu, Hanuman lifted mountain to get Sanjeev to eat. Hanuman once tried to eat the sun. Hanuman's main weapon was a gada, and Hanuman is a monkey. Yes, so it is Hanuman. So congratulations, Ishan, and thank you so much, Advit, for thank that you. lovely question. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Advit, would you tell us where you're joining us from? I'm joining uh, from Pune. Okay, Advit is joining us from Pune. Thank you, Advit, for that. It was Hanuman indeed. Congratulations to Ishan as well. With that, over to you, Sachin. Thank you, Shrija. So let's look at the scoreboard, everybody, for this second round that we've had, which is the connect the dot round for Advit's questions that we've had. So Skanda is very much in the lead, followed by Varun, followed by the duo of Clever Girls, which is Driti and Sanvi, if I'm not wrong, Sahana in fourth position and Niranjana in the fifth position. Tanmay Kumar, who studies in grade three in section C, is the highest climber. He's jumped up three places. Well done to you, Tanmay, and to the rest of you guys as well. Now, with that, of course, uh, there's another announcement that Shrija and we wanted to make. We wanted to ask you if you wanted to be a guest quiz master, just like how we just had Advit just now ask a question for us all the way from Pune. So if you'd like to be a guest quiz master, send us a message on chat to me, to Vaishnavi, to any of the Kushala accounts. Send us GQ and send us your mobile number along with that as well. And we will then go ahead and quickly get in touch with you. And you can then go ahead and feature as the guest quiz master in the Kushala family quiz. All right. So send us the letters GQ and your mobile phone number as well. All right. So that's the request that we have for you. It's as simple. We'll get in touch with you, figure out the process and how we need to make this happen. And with that, what we have next is the round that we have, which is the LBC round that we've been conducting since the beginning of this month. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you what is at stake for this. Just give me one second. I'm just going in and sharing my screen. All right, guys. So long we should connect as we've been asking you for the last two weeks that we've had questions. Um, so here is uh, the winners from last week's edition. So we've got Advit, Amog, and Dhritrit. Um, I think that's Dhriti, sorry. Dhriti who actually are our winners from our LBC from last week. Well done to all of you guys. Um, and then, of course, we have prizes worth 300 rupees as a scholarship for the teams, the first three teams that guessed the theme right. And here is what we showed for you for set number one or the first week, which is, of course, uh, the flight from death in French and those, four, uh, those different elements that you have. Count the number of them. That should also help you. In set number two, you have these two images. And what we have right now which is the next set, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're revealing to you, is this. So this is the new clues that we're now uh, releasing for you for this week. So think about it. Look carefully. We're asking you to identify something or someone who is very, 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 very infamous or very popular, right? So that's what we have for you. So go ahead and send in your answers to us. Uh, we'd love to see how many of you get this right, right? So these are the three clues that we have. And with that, Let's look at the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen. These are the winners of the top 10 from last week's Kushala family quiz. We've got Shreya, Shlok, Ethan, Driti, Prarthu, Adrit, Advit, Anuttara, Pranava, and Anvita. So these are fantastic winners from last week's Kushala family quiz. And with that, also making note of the people who signed in for the first time at the Kushala family quiz. Well done to Chinmay, Ravneet, Aishik, Kavya, Priyansh, and Anvita Kashyap. These are our first-time participants, winners. Well done to all of you guys as well. And with that, let me again pay a shout-out and a tribute to our partner, Puffin Books, for sponsoring and bringing lovely authors onto the Kushala platform. 
And while we spoke about this as well, let me remind you again, ladies and gentlemen, on the 31st, we have none other than Ruskin Bond, who's going to be featuring in the Kushala Family Quiz, where he is going to be talking to you. He's going to be asking questions. And if you'd like to come and sign up for this event, and if you're not a paid member of Kushala, the tickets for that event is at 299 rupees for the first 500 tickets, all right? So please make sure you sign up quickly if you're not a Kushala member. If you do happen to be a member, like many of our privileged folks who already are, you get to access this event for free. And why should you come next week? You will find out how you can interact with Ruskin Bond next week, all right? So that's what you're going to be able to find out. Register for the quiz. The link, etc. has been sent to you on, Go on Zoom chat as well. As I mentioned to you, what's coming up next Sunday, Let's jump on to the last round that we have. And I'm going to go get this set up while my colleague Shija is going to go ahead and ask the next set of questions for you. Shija, over to you. Yes. Uh, so we'll move on to the next round, the third round of the day, the rapid fire round. So everybody get ready, flex your muscles to get, uh, think, put your thinking caps on. And here's your first question on your screen. Yes. New Zealand's 2021 Bird of the Year contest, contest has an unusual participant. Which flying mammal is it? Is it an albatross? Is it a kiwi? Is it a bat? Or is it a parakeet? Right? So take a look at the picture carefully. There's a clue right there. Less than 13 seconds remaining. Think about a flying mammal, which has been in the news since the last year. Yes, there's a three seconds remaining. And yes, the correct answer is in fact the bat. And uh, if you looked at the picture carefully, it was right there. Uh, with that, we'll take a look at the scoreboard. Yes, so Varun has taken over the first place, followed by clever girls, Sahana, Niranjana and Skanda. Three players just hit an answer streak of four. So good job, everyone. Over to you, Sachin. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Shija. One important thing I think I completely forgot to mention, and this is possibly the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, the copy of the book of Ruskin Bond that you'll end up winning in the Kushala family quiz on the 31st happens to be an autographed copy, guys. Can you imagine you're getting a personally signed copy by Ruskin Bond? That's the prize we have at stake. So you have to make sure you're signing up for that event. And if you happen to be uh, signing up for the first 500 places, you get the ticket for 299 rupees. I think it's a steal for such an experience. That's my personal opinion. We'd love to meet you there. Please do turn up and sign up for the quiz as well. That said, let's jump on to question number two, ladies and gentlemen. Which women education activist from Pakistan became the youngest person in history to win a Nobel Peace Prize? Is it Greta Thunberg? Is it Mother Teresa? Is it Malala Yousafzai? Or is it Michelle Obama? Greta Thunberg, Mother Teresa, Malala Yousafzai, and Michelle Obama. That's what we want you to identify. Women education activists from Pakistan. Let's see how many of you get this right, ladies and gentlemen. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 35 of you have gotten this right. Fantastic job, guys. I think youngest women activists from Pakistan were clues that you could have worked with. And let's look at the leaderboard. We have Varun in the lead, followed by Clever Girls, followed by Sahana, followed by Niranjana and Skanda. Skanda, in, uh, if I've, I've been corrected and I've been clarified, is Maya. So that's Maya here, who in, uh, is in the fifth position. Well done. Adya Arna is back with an answer streak of three. Fantastic job, Ar um, Adya. Next question, of course, over to my colleague, Shrija. So the next question on your screen is a true or false question. Plants know how to communicate with each other. Is it true or is it false? Yeah, so do you think plants can talk to each other like we humans do? So if you think that's possible, click on the blue button. And if you think we are lying, that's not possible, then click on the red button. Less than five seconds remaining. Three, two, one, yes. And 34 of you got it right. It is actually true. How cool is that? Plants can actually talk to each other. Yes, so here's the scoreboard. Clever girls have taken over the lead, followed by Varun, Sahana, Niranjana, and Skanda. Amaya P is back with an answer streak of three. So congratulations to everyone on the scoreboard. Over to you, Sachin. Thank you so much, Shija. This, of course, is another small joke that the team wanted to crack. The scent of freshly cut grass is equivalent to a cry for help. 
Um, that's what you were trying to go for in this, right, Shija? Yes. Got it. Okay. All right. Next question, everybody, appearing on your screen. 16-year-old Sucheta Sutish got a Guinness World Record for wit skill aided by her love for languages. Is this singing? Is this dancing? Is this reading? Or is this writing? What is the skill aided by her love for languages? This is an incredible world record, ladies and gentlemen. It is truly blew my mind when I learned about this individual. Uh, Sucheta Satish, 16 years of age, uh, could be a participant for Kushala Family Quiz. Uh, she is doing some incredible, incredible things. So let's see what it is, is the answer to this question. And this was a bit of a tough question, right? Uh, Lisha says something very fascinating. She says that she was her neighbor in Dubai. So singing is the talent that, uh, that Sucheta has. And the record I will reveal to you shortly is an incredible record. But before that, we have our leaderboard, which hasn't changed much. Clever Girls, Varun, Sahana, Niranjana, Skanda are the top five, followed by... Uh, of course, Skanda is back in the game with three in a row. Well done to you, Skanda slash Maya. This is, of course, the unique feat that she had. She actually went ahead and sang in 120 languages at the Indian consulate. So basically, she can she sang in 120 languages. Can you imagine that, ladies and gentlemen? 120 languages, not spoke, but sang in them. So here is a, a small teaser for you. Go ahead and have a quick listen. So there was a sample of Sucheta singing. I would request you to go to YouTube and sing and check out how she sings the rest of the sing uh, songs as well. I would be very fascinated for you to find out. So go ahead and have a look. With that, let's jump on to the next question. Shija, over to you. Here's the next question on your screens. During the pandemic, Bangkok taxi drivers found a creative way to support their families. What was it? So was it creating houses from taxi cars? Uh, were they growing vegetables? Was it a library on wheels or was it selling taxi spare parts? So what do you think it is? Take a look at the picture. Maybe you'll get a clue. How do you think Bangkok taxi drivers found a creative way to support their families during the pandemic? Less than five seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. Let's take a look at the answer. And yes, 32 of you got it right. It is growing vegetables. If you looked at the picture carefully, there was a kid watering the plants. So yes, with that, let's take a look at the scoreboard. All right, Barun is back in the lead, followed by Clever Girls, followed by Sahana, Niranjana and Skanda. Clever Girls has the highest answer streak of 12. So good job. Over to you, Sachin. Thank you so much, Shija. Guys, also, please do stay back. We have a lucky draw that we're going to be revealing to you after the quiz. So you have to be through the course of the entire quiz to be eligible for the lucky draw. Just a friendly reminder. Let's look at the next question, everybody. How do devotees at Chital Golu Devta Temple in Almora fulfill their wishes? Do they tie bells around the fence? Do they donate food? Do they write a letter with their wishes? Or do they worship animals? So what is it that the devotees at the Chital Golu Devta Temple in Almora do? A unique way of fulfilling their wishes, tie bells, donate food, write letters, or worship animals. That is the question that we have for you for today. Let's see how many of you get this right. Chital Golu Devta Temple in Almora. And what people have said, well, 32 of you have used the image for good measure. They write letters to the God to ask for their wishes to be fulfilled. And I don't know, I think hopefully they come true. I don't know. I've not been to this temple, but I'm going to be curious to find out what the results or the effect of those letters are. That was the question that we had for you. But before we announce the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question that we had for you. We have to ask you, what was your favorite question from today's quiz? Through the course of today's quiz, we asked you so many variety of questions, right? From the world of mythology, from Mam's book about connect the dots that was asked by a guest quiz master. And of course, a bunch of nice rapid fire questions that we asked for you. So what was your favorite question from today's quiz is what we'd like to understand. So go ahead and let us know. Uh, you have under two and one second left. Let's see what the board indicates. Ramayana, plants can communicate. So Cheta, bat question. This is such a beautiful and nice mix. Um, someone says nothing. Nothing was their favorite. Okay. That means that everything possibly is something that you already knew or liked. 
Jatayu was very fascinating to people. The last question was also equally fascinating. Very, very interesting. All the questions is also someone says, so nice to see this, guys. Keep up. The, thank you so much for your responses. With that, also want to talk to you about our Q Shala family quiz group. This is a buzzing community, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of activity on the group. So please do join us for questions, updates every single day. There is a link that my colleague is going to be sending to you. So go ahead and participate and register. Join us for the Q Shala family quiz group. And with that, we have one last question. But before that, let me repeat. The first 500 people who register for the quiz get the ticket at 299 rupees, not at 500 rupees. And you also get a copy of the book, an assured autographed copy of the latest book, The Tunnel, written by Raskin Bond. If you happen to be a Qshara paid quiz, family quiz member, you automatically get to participate in the event for free. You don't have to pay any extra charges. So that's the benefit of being a Qshara family quiz member. All right. With that last question that we have for you, we want to know, can we expect you to be a part of the family quiz featuring Mr. Ruskin Bond coming up on the 31st of October, 2021? Can we expect you to be a part of the family quiz featuring Mr. Ruskin Bond? Definitely or maybe that's what we want you to tell us. And let's wait for another 20 odd seconds and see what people are saying. So we have 45 people. I think we had 41 people, if I'm not wrong, on Kahoot. Uh, I think people are thinking and deciding and seeing what their schedule looks like on this Sunday, the 31st. Uh, this, of course, was a nice holiday weekend, so people did have travel plans and the like. But 28 of you are definitely showing up, which is fantastic for us. Any of you are deciding. So if you need any help deciding, guys, you know who to call. Just get in touch with us and we'll give you all the details. And it is an event that's costing $2.99 if you register for the first 500. So register as quickly as you can, guys. It is truly worth your time and money. All right. With that, let's look at the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen. In third place in today's quiz is Sahana. Coming in second in today's quiz is Clever Girls. And winning today's quiz is Varun. Varun is the winner of today's quiz, followed by, in fourth and fifth, you've got Maya and Niranjana. So Varun, Clever Girls, Sahana, Maya and Niranjana. These are our top five in today's Kushala family quiz. Please don't leave, ladies and gentlemen. We have the lucky draw prize that we're going to be revealing to you. I'm going to request my colleague Srija to go ahead and share her screen. My request again for all of you in the top 10, all of your names who have called, please do go ahead and share your address with us. And we also have the winner of the lucky draw prize. So Tanmay Kumar, Tanmay Kumar, if you're here, if you're available, if you can see this message, you are the winner of the gift hamper that we have from Postcard. Let me tell you, this is a very delicious hamper. I am what I mean, my I'm salivating a little bit just looking at this lovely gift you're getting. Um, in fact, I always keep telling this. I think Shija and me have told our executive producer, hey, where are the nice hampers for us for all the quiz masters? Uh, because everybody else gets them. I mean, I'm just kidding. They I mean they equally uh, take care of us and treat us really well. But these are some lovely, lovely hampers that you have. And well done to you, Tanmay Kumar. So that is the who uh, that's who the winner of the of the lucky draw competition is. So a couple of announcements before we close the quiz. 31st of October, uh, we have uh, Ruskin Bond coming, none other than Ruskin Bond. So please do turn up. If you have paid for the Qshala membership, it's a free event. If you haven't, you can pick up a ticket for $2.99 for the first 500 people. You get an autographed copy of the book just by showing up, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell you what an incredible deal that is. If I were your age, I would just jump onto this opportunity. And I don't say this as the Qshala quiz master. Right. But more importantly, why should you turn up next Sunday? Right? 31st is two weeks away from now. But next Sunday, you can get a chance to interact with Ruskin Bond. How cool is that? But for that to happen, you need to find out how to do that. You need to come to next week's Kushala Family Quiz to find out how you can do that. So those are the couple of announcements that I have. I've had a lovely time, of course, conducting the quiz. It's always nice to come back uh, every Sunday. Uh, the last two Sundays felt a little different because I wasn't conducting the quiz. I was watching it. But this Sunday feels a little more like normal. So I've had a great time. Uh, Ashija, how was your experience? How was your, I mean, I think it was lovely having Bulbul Ma'am talk about the lovely stories, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And it was really uh, nice to see everyone answering. And uh, a lot of them are also saying on the chat that they enjoyed the quiz. So please keep the feedback coming. Yep. And also I can see a few people asking me for the link to register for the Ruskin Bond quiz. I'm sharing it again on the chat. So please go to the link on the chat to register. Yeah, guys, I think we you have to be there, guys. I, I don't say this lightly. 
to interact with Ruskin Bond um, is truly, I think, a once in a lifetime opportunity. At least I'm going to take that as one. That's the way I'm looking at it. Chija, what about you? Definitely. I mean, uh, I grew up reading his books and he's been a great role model as well. So uh, it'll be amazing. I personally am very excited that I can see him on the family quiz. So yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, again, I think we have finished at 4.04, uh, I think almost on time. So it's lovely to see all of you here, all our regular Kushala Family Quiz members, our usual suspects, as I like to call them. So thank you for making time for us this Sunday. I hope you guys are staying safe, uh, you know, being careful. Have a great Sunday ahead. Have a great week ahead. And we will see you same place, same time on the coming Sunday. Have a great time, guys. Take care. Anything you want to share as a parting message, Shija, to our Family Quiz members? Thank you for joining us today and uh, see you again next Sunday. Absolutely. And especially for those joining it for the first time, I noticed some of you are sending me messages. You enjoyed the quiz. Jidanshi 